the Berenstain Bears In the Dark by Stan and Jan Berenstain Hi, I'm Sister Bear. Welcome to Living Books. This is a story about the time Brother Bear read me a scary book and made me afraid of the dark. Does that ever happen to you? If you want the story read to you, click right here. If you want to play inside the story, click right here. Being afraid of the dark doesn't just happen to you. <laughs> it happens sometimes to little bears, too. Sister and Brother Bear were at the Bear Country Library. Sister had already chosen her books and was waiting at the checkout desk. Brother Bear, are you going to take all day to pick your books? Hold your horses. I'm looking for a good mystery. Those were great books. I think I'll get some more. In. I'm checking this in. Out. I'm checking this out. I feel a song coming on. Oh, I love books. I read them every day. I check them in, I check them out. I want to know what they're all about. So give me a book to read. Good books to read are what I need. I love books. Thank you. Brother, how hard can it be to pick a book? I'm going as fast as I can. Well, hurry up. <laughs> That's a good baby. Excuse me, do you have any baby bear books? There should be one there. Hmm, I can't seem to find them. It's a book about music. It's a book about flying. It's a book called How to Fool Your Parents. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Cubs Corner. <laughs> hey, quit pushing. <laughs> Hmm. 
Who's flipping those drawers open? That does it. I'm out of here. Mysteries. Who done it? Demicide. Cool. Pirates. Whoa! Lions! George Michel. Ugh, yuck! Brother, how hard can it be to pick a book? I'm going as fast as I can. Well, hurry up! How would you like me pulling on your tail? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just love thrillers. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me, do you have any baby bear books? There should be one there. Hmm, I can't seem to find them. I'll take these, but I'm going to look for a few more. I'll take these. But I'm going to look for a few more. Sister and brother bear were at the Bear Country Library. Sister had already chosen her books and was waiting at the checkout desk. Haven't you found anything yet? I'm going to look over here. Brother Bear. Sister Bear usually took out storybooks and books about nature and sometimes books of poems. Brother liked those too, but lately he'd become interested in mysteries, especially spooky ones. Hey, this one looks good. He said finally. Hmm, said Sister. It was called The Case of the Crying Cave. It looks scary to me. Music. Classical. World music. World music. Rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. Jazz. Folk.
Hey, check me out. No, check me. Check me out. Me, me. Hmm, I love a good book. Hmm, I love a good book. Come on, there's some great books about cheese over here. Mmm, yum. Hmm, I love a good book. I find the library very enlightening. Build your brain. Read. Wow! I like mysteries because they're scary. The Case of the Crying Cave. I can't wait to read it. I like my books better. Did you know that butterflies start life as caterpillars? Oh, boring. Did you know that butterflies start life as caterpillars? Oh, boring. I like mysteries because they're scary. The Case of the Crying Cave. I can't wait to read it. I like my books better. Sister Bear usually took out storybooks and books about nature and sometimes books of poems. Brother liked those too, but lately he'd become interested in mysteries, especially spooky ones. Hey, this one looks good, he said finally. Hmm, said sister. It was called The Case of the Crying Cave. It looks scary to me. Let's check out. Okay, it's about time. Say, this is really good said brother later that evening when the bear family had settled down for some reading. Would you like me to read it to you? He asked sister. Sister was looking at a storybook about three kittens who were arguing about which was the prettiest and it was a little boring. Or are you scared? Of course not. Pretty scary, huh?
Hmm, the Bear Country Bruins won another one. Here's an article about a skunk who raised a big stink downtown. Ew! Here's an article about a skunk who raised a big stink downtown. Ew! I'm cuter than you are. No, you're not. I'm the cutest. No, I'm cutest. <laughs> Papa! I just love the funnies. I see the berry harvest should be good this year. Mmm, berries. My favorite. Papa, everything's your favorite. Daisies. Rose. Corn. Tomatoes. No oh dear. The price of everything just keeps going up. Oh, you've been practicing again, Mama. Those were great! <laughs> Papa! I just love the funnies. Are you going to read it or not? It's pretty scary. I don't care. Are you sure you want to hear this? I told you, yes. It's even scaring me. Just read it. Are you going to read it or not? It's pretty scary. I don't care. Are you going to read it or not? It's pretty scary. I don't care. Say, this is really good, said brother later that evening when the bear family had settled down for some reading. Would you like me to read it to you? He asked sister. Sister was looking at a storybook about Three kittens who were arguing about which was the prettiest, and it was a little boring. Okay, here we go. The Case of the Crying Cave. The
history began quietly. It told about some bear scouts who were on an overnight campout when the scouts discovered a dark, secret cave. Brother's mystery began to get a little exciting. A mysterious cave, said the bear scouts. We should explore it. And when the cave began to cry and wail, it was anything but quiet. Ooh, cried the deep, dark, mysterious cave. Ooh. Stop! That's enough! <laughs> Papa, he's scaring me! What? Brother Bear, what are you doing? Just reading my book, Papa. And then the little kittens went into the dark cave. Brother Bear! Sure is noisy around here tonight. This is scary, but I like it. <laughs> Papa, he's scaring me. W what? Brother Bear, what are you doing? Just reading my book, Papa. Nut? No, after you. No, I insist. Oh, why thank you. Huh, it's dark in here. And then the little kittens went into the dark cave. Brother Bear, stop that! Sure is noisy around here tonight. <laughs> the mystery began quietly. It told about some bear scouts who were on an overnight campout when the scouts discovered a dark secret cave brother's mystery began to get a little exciting and when the cave began to cry and wail it was anything but quiet. I don't think I like mysteries. Scaredy bear, scaredy bear. Stop it! Stop it! Scaredy bear, scaredy bear. I'm leaving!
And that's quite enough of that. At the Cubs' bedtime, Papa and Mama said good night. Good night. Good night, Cubs. Turned off the light and left the Cubs in the usual sleepy darkness. Good good night, Mama and Papa. Good night. Outside the treehouse, the bright, busy sounds of the day had given way to the soft, soothing sounds of night. The quiet conversation of frogs and toads. The soft cry of the owl. The sigh of the night wind. And if you listened very hard, you could almost hear the softest sound of all. The sound of lightning bugs switching their lights on and off, on and off. Woo, 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 woo! Uh, I feel a little dizzy. Darn! I need to change batteries. Not in the mood for a light lunch, eh? <gasps> Brother Bear, does it seem noisier than usual tonight? Hmm? No. It's about bedtime, dear. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I'm just a little bit hungry. Hungry? Again? Go on a diet. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night when. Oh, stop that! You know I hate scary stories! That's right. You said it. Mm. <laughs> Hey, if you're scared, hop over to my pad. Huh, I'd rather croak.
water hole Starting life as a little tadpole But now I'm the king of my law Oh yeah Cause I'm a great big fat dog Rogan like mm, it is baby right on. I've got to quit falling asleep. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tree. Tree who? Tree little twigs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Who wants to know? Who else? Who you talking about? Who cares? Not again! Every night they do this! I've got to quit falling asleep. It's about bedtime, dear. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Brother Bear, does it seem noisier than usual tonight? Hmm? No. Hey, if you're scared, hop over to my pad. Huh, I'd rather croak. <laughs> Outside the tree house, the bright, busy sounds of the day had given way to the soft, soothing sounds of night, the quiet conversation of frogs and Toads, the soft cry of the owl, the sigh of the night wind. And if you listened very hard, you could almost hear the softest sound of all, the sound of lightning bugs switching their lights on and off, on and off. Hey, do you ever get scared out here in the dark? Never. But inside the treehouse, Sister Bear wasn't even beginning to fall asleep. That night, the dark didn't seem the least bit quiet and sleepy. In fact, it seemed like the spooky darkness of a scary cave. And the friendly old chest of drawers and funny clothes tree that Papa had made didn't seem so friendly and funny. They seemed more like cave creatures. What's that? 
Did I scare you? Zoo. But inside the tree house, Sister Bear wasn't even beginning to fall asleep. That night, the dark didn't seem the least bit quiet and sleepy. In fact, it seemed like the spooky darkness of a scary cave, and the friendly old chest of drawers and funny clothes tree that Papa had made didn't seem so friendly and funny. They seemed more like cave creatures. So when Brother decided to tease her a little more by making a wailing noise, a really spooky wailing noise, it gave her quite a scare. Ooh. Ah! Mama, Papa, hurry, come quick! And come quickly they did. Papa rushed into the room and tripped over the clothes tree. Mama rushed in after Papa and tripped over him. In the commotion, Sister fell out of bed and landed on both of them. Then Brother, who had started it all with his spooky wail, turned on the light. What a mess! Sister, still scared, was holding on to Papa. Papa was holding on to the toe he had stubbed. Oh! And Mama was looking for the nightcap she had lost in the confusion. All three of them were pretty annoyed with Brother Bear. in the kitchen. About face. March. Hey! That's my blanket! Sorry. Are you two all right? Yes, Mama. Well, I think so. How about you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, 
Where is that hat? Oh, my toe! Papa, brother made a spooky noise and scared me. Let go, Sister Bear! Turn, Turn that, that back, back on! on. <laughs> brother Bear! It wasn't me! Oh, I've always wanted to be a spotted owl! Are you two all right? Yes, Mama. Well, I think so. How about you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, where is that hat? All my clothes fell off. <laughs> we never get used. Yeah, they're always walking around in their bare feet. We never get used. Yeah, they're always walking around in their bare feet. <laughs> That's pickles! Sorry. <laughs> oh well, I prefer flying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's pickles! Sorry. Wow, what a pileup. Uh, what are you guys doing? You know darn well what we're doing. You weren't very nice to your sister, Brother Bear. Oh, my toe! Wow, what a pileup. Uh, what are you guys doing? You know darn well what we're doing. You weren't very nice to your sister, Brother Bear. Yeah! in the kitchen. About face. Arch. Then brother, who had started it all with his spooky wail, turned on the light. What a mess. Sister, still scared, was holding on to Papa. Papa still was holding on to the toe he had stubbed. And Mama was looking for the nightcap she had lost in the confusion. All three of them were pretty annoyed with Brother Bear. Here, Mama. Thank you, Papa. Come on now, let's get back to bed. It turned out to be a very long night in the bear's treehouse. Papa and Mama tried to explain that there was nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Except maybe running into a clothes tree and stubbing your toe. But it didn't do any good. Sister absolutely refused to go to sleep with the light off. And Brother positively insisted that he couldn't fall asleep with the light on. Huh. Ah! Huh. Huh. 
The next morning, the bear family was very sleepy-eyed. Boy, said brother, yawning. I sure don't want to go through another night like that. <laughs> Neither do I, said Papa. Good morning, everyone. Isn't it? May I borrow a cup of flour? May I borrow a cup of sugar? Thank you. Yum. Yum. Uh oh. How do owls stay awake all night? They sleep during the day. Good idea. I don't think I'm going to get much done today. Maybe I'll just do a bit of baking and put up some preserves and then garden for a bit and... Oh. I only had three hours of sleep last night. That's three more than some of us. I only had three hours of sleep last night. That's three more than some of us. Uh, uh. I'm too tired to eat. I'm too tired to move. I'm too tired to keep talking. I'm too tired to go to school. Nice try, Brother Bear. <sighs> Hmm, need salt. Does not. Hey, I'm almost ready. Hey, I'm almost ready. Is breakfast ready yet? Hmm. Did someone get out of the wrong side of the bed this morning? I don't think I'm going to get much done today. Maybe I'll just do a bit of baking and put up some preserves and then garden for a bit and... Oh. I only had three hours of sleep last night. That's three more than some of us. Isn't anyone else eating? Hmm, needs salt. Does not. Good morning, everyone. Isn't it? The next morning, the bear family was very sleepy-eyed. Boy, said brother, yawning. I sure don't want to go through another night like that. Neither do I, said Papa. 
One night like that is about all we can stand. I think I have an idea that might help. Come with me, Sister Bear. Where are we going? Sister Bear wanted to know. Up to the attic. The attic? But it's dark in the attic, even in the daytime. I know, said Papa. But there's something I want to show you. Anyway, there's nothing so special about the dark. It's just part of nature, like the light. It's your imagination that makes the dark seem spooky sometimes. What's imagination? asked Sister. Imagination is what makes us think that chests of drawers and clothes trees are cave creatures. I wish I didn't have one, said Sister. Don't say that, said Papa. A lively imagination is one of the best things a cub can have. It's imagination that lets us paint pictures. Make up poems. Invent inventions. The trick is to take charge of your imagination and not let it take charge of you. Imagine being king of the forest. <coughs> Pretty impressive, huh? When I use my imagination, I sound like this. Imagine being king of the forest. <coughs> Pretty impressive, huh? One of these has to work. Is it dark in here? Or is it just me? Is it dark in here? Or is it just me? One of these has to work. When I use my imagination, I imagine I could talk. Knock, knock. Who's there? Rainy. Rainy who? Are any of you afraid of the dark? <laughs> when I use my imagination, I imagine I could talk. One of these has to work.
One of these has to work. What's imagination? Asked sister. Imagination is what makes us think that chests of drawers and clothes trees are cave creatures. I wish I didn't have one, said sister. Don't say that, said papa. A lively imagination is one of the best things a cub can have. It's imagination that lets us paint pictures, make up poems, invent inventions. The trick is to take charge of your imagination and not let it take charge of you. Well, finally. No! You see, sister, even grown-ups can make mistakes with fire. I know, Papa. When they got to the attic, Papa began to rummage through boxes, looking for something. Sister tried to follow Papa's advice and not let her imagination take charge. And it worked. A spooky shape turned out to be the shadow of some old tools. What looked like a giant was really some piled up furniture. Just me. Looky here! How do I look? <laughs> now you're scaring me, Papa! Hmm... Gee! Papa's right about imagination! Voila! Be spooked. It's 
like stuff me. Look, Sister Bear. A picture of me when I was a young bear on the dive team. The left side of the plane, you'll see we're flying over bear country. I'm sure it's in here someplace. <laughs> Look, a picture of Brother Bear when he was little. He was so sweet. That must have been a long time ago. Hmm. Gee, Papa's right about imagination. When they got to the attic, Papa began to rummage through boxes looking for something. Sister tried to follow Papa's advice and not let her imagination take charge. And it worked. A spooky shape turned out to be the shadow of some old tools. What looked like a giant was really some piled up furniture. Here it is, my old nightlight. The one I used when I was a cub and had a little trouble falling asleep in the dark. You had a nightlight? You were afraid too? Sister couldn't quite believe that her big, powerful papa was ever afraid of the dark. Oh, sure. Most of us are at one time or another. How about reading the rest of the case of the crying case? Sister asked brother later that day. Are you sure you want me to? Sure. I want to see how it turns out. She insisted. <whistles> the mystery is solved, shouted Bear Scout Ted. Looking down from the hole in the top of the crying cave, the sounds are made by the wind. I don't understand, said Bear Scout Fred. I'll show you, said Bear Scout Ted. It's like when you blow across the top of a bottle. So that's what it was, the wind. They let their imagination fool them. It turned the sound into a scary monster. <laughs> so that's what it was, the wind. They let their imagination fool them. It turned the sound into a scary monster. Is that all there is? Well. They solved the mystery. Is that all there is? Well, they solved the mystery. I know those scouts are here somewhere. Oh, that last step's a doozy. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a scout. What's that? Oh, sorry. That was my stomach growling. It must be lunch time. <laughs> What are you looking for? How to get out of a cave. Good idea. Here it is. Go out the way you came in. No, no duh. duh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe 
we can get a merit badge for this! Yeah! Maybe there's one for solving mysteries! I just love playing Choo Choo Train! Whoa! How about reading the rest of the case of the crying cave? Sister asked brother later that day. Are you sure you want me to? Sure, I want to see how it turns out, she insisted. When it turned out that there was nothing very spooky about the terrible wailing noise, Sister was a little disappointed, and that night, she said so. I was pretty disappointed by the way the case of the crying cave ended. Why? asked Brother. Because I was hoping the wailing would be a really spooky, scary monster! Cut that out! cried Brother. At the end of the day, when the sun goes down, Teddy Bear, get up and dance around. We never get scared of the dark, you know, because the night's the time to put on a show. Get up and dance, and do the Teddy Bear Boogie! <laughs> Mama! Oh, did one of you call? I guess not. <laughs> Oh, did one of you call? I guess not. Ooh. Who said that? Who left the window open? Is that you, Papa? Yes, it is. You kids go on to sleep now. Oh, the perfect home for me. Good night. Good night. I'm n not scared. Ooh! Are you scared? Ooh! Stop <laughs> it! I'm n not scared. Ooh! 
Are you scared? Ooh! Stop <laughs> it! Ooh! Who said that? Ooh! Left the window open. Is that you, Papa? Yes, it is. You kids go on to sleep now. When it turned out that there was nothing very spooky about the terrible wailing noise, Sister was a little disappointed. And that night, she said so. I was pretty disappointed by the way the case of the crying cave ended. Why? asked brother. Because I was hoping the wailing would be a really spooky, scary monster. Cut that out, cried brother. Then sister went right to sleep. But brother lay awake for quite some time, listening to the owl hoots and thinking that maybe he'd had enough mysteries for a while. 